Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I stand to support this motion, this resolution, Mr. Speaker, moved by the Prime Minister to, to borrow $9.71 million to assist the fire service in various ways. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I want to spend a few minutes just to place on, on record and to register the appreciation of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs to the fire officers who continue to give all that they can to the, to the welfare of the people of St. Lucia. But I want to point out the performance of the fire officers during the, the heights of the COVID-19 pandemic in particular. Mr. Speaker, many people will know that during the heights of the COVID-19 pandemic, even family members became very afraid of their own relatives who they, for the first time in their lives, they, they witnessed things happening to the bodies of their families that they themselves could not handle. Even in some quarters, Mr. Speaker, it was difficult for other professionals to handle the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic. But the fire officers had to gear up at every call and to handle the COVID-19 victims until they got to the Victoria Hospital or other medical facility. At that time, Mr. Speaker, many of them could not handle it psychologically. And I have many stories from doctors at Victoria Hospital who indicated to me, Mr. Speaker, that there were many fire officers upon the arrival at Victoria Hospital, after having delivered the patients to the Victoria Hospital, just could not stand it and could not bear it, and they would just burst into tears. So, Mr. Speaker, it is very heartwarming to see this Prime Minister coming to the House and presenting this opportunity, presenting to the people of St. Lucia this injection of support to the fire service, and I wish as Minister for Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs to put my support right up with the other colleagues. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the officers, and in particular, I want to thank the acting fire, the acting fire chief. For many, many years, many years ago, Mr. Speaker, long before we were in government, as a member of parliament in opposition, the acting fire chief came to my office, Mr. Dittany Downs, and had a long meeting with me. And he did not know if we would, if we would have been in government, but he said to me, here are the concerns of the fire service. Here are so many concerns, and we believe that these concerns need to be addressed. And I took down the notes that day, and I could not believe some of the things that Mr. Downs told me. I could not believe some of, some of the pressures and some of the experiences that they were going through. So I'm very happy, Mr. Speaker, that I'm part of our government today, and we are able to demonstrate to the fire service that we indeed will put them first. We indeed will look at their struggles and try our very best to assist. You can see very well, Mr. Speaker, you can see very clearly that we are different governments. Very clearly, Mr. Speaker, our priorities are different. Very clearly, close to two and a half years, every time we come to the parliament, whether it be to borrow money, you can see that we are different. Look at the terms, Mr. Speaker. Look at the repayment terms. Look at what we are borrowing monies for. And clearly, we are different to the last government, and the difference is like night and day. And let me just detour a little, Mr. Speaker. This morning, the press pressured me a little about horse racing. And they said I went down to Viewfort to talk about horse racing. And they're saying to me, what is different? Why couldn't we boast the DSH and the, and the people are having horse racing and I'm talking about it? Again, I said to them, Mr. Speaker, we are different government, very, very different. We look at things differently. 
What is being organized in Viewfort is not being organized by the government. It's being organized by young people, positive people. It is not the government. This is not the government. The Southern Equestrian Association, together with other horse lovers of horses in Grozile and everywhere around St. Lucia, they have come together. And Mr. Reno Kajada is providing the equipment and materials. This is, we have St. Lucians coming together to do something wonderful. And the government is happy about it. This is not about us, it's about the people. It's about the people. And there's a big difference. We didn't spend $13 million to build a road for the horse racing track. The people have decided to come. And the young people from V4 have had the horse races for many, many years. Along the way, Dr. Kenny Anthony came and has been supporting them. And so that is how this government operates. If the people are doing something positive, then we praise it for the people. And that's why we are different. Look at what we have done for the police. And the member for Castries Central spoke, spoke a little about it. In less than two and a half years, look at what we have done for Bordelais. And look at what the Minister for Home Affairs is doing with the protective services and the Minister for National Security. Just this morning, support to the police service with drones from the government and people of Taiwan. Vehicles for the police. Training for the police. The introduction of the, of the training vote for the police. The divisional headquarters up at Grosile, which the Prime Minister spoke about. And other essentials for the police. We are very different, Mr. Speaker. And our priorities are different. We continue to put the people first. And I continue to support this Prime Minister and support the initiatives. And I want to say to you, Mr. Speaker, that I support what the Prime Minister has done this morning. And I look forward to the fire service. Yes, we, we have a lot more to do. But I look forward to the fire service getting the assistance because their services are part of the overall healthcare system. Many people would not associate the services of the, of the firemen and firewomen with a good healthcare system. But just think about it. If there's an unfortunate accident and the fire service, as efficient as they are, they get to the scene, do what they have to do as professionals, and transfer the patients to the hospitals or to the nearest health facility in record time. While these patients are being transported, they are on the ambulance receiving medical services even before they get to the hospital. So the, the fire service is an integral part of the healthcare system. Integral part of the healthcare system. So when the PM, the Prime Minister, speaks about the 2.5% for health and security. And we come here this morning to speak about $9.71 million for the fire service. As Minister for Health, hear what I'm saying. I in that too. Mursa. Because it's as if, you know, it's, it's really for health care also. Because the emergency services form an integral part of the health care system. And when we support the emergency services, whether it be the police, whether it be, and especially the fire service, we are supporting healthcare, the overall reform of healthcare in St. Lucia. So, Mr. Speaker, Sam Kadi has said, Bon matin, Premier Ministre Lavini, et nous capote 9.7 million dollars. Puis passe ça, mais on lui on ça, million dollars, sorti Caribbean Development Bank pour aider ses pompiers. Nous gardons pompiers à l'anglais, nous gardons fire service là. Et bien, qui ça, ça qu'il fait? Ça qu'il y a une ambulance. Ça a été fait un truck, ça a été un trauma. Il a été développé en place côté fire service avec police qui a été un trauma en vie forte. Et ça a aidé ces fire service là pour faire plus de service. Je te dis à l'anglais, M. Speaker, qui là nous partir en gouvernement longtemps, longtemps. L'année M. c'est lui qui chef, uh, acting chef fire service là, Brésil M. Dittany Downs. Il était venu en office moi. Et qui te a dit que quand je ne parle pas de la vie, qui ça, c'est faire un service là, brisé. Et qui te a presque pleuré, qui a dit que faire un service là, brisé, si pour. Et qui te a dit que tout ce qui est là, il faire un service là, brisé. Je suis bien content aujourd'hui, moi, dans le gouvernement, côté, aujourd'hui, nous venons au Parlement pour prêter l'argent. Et que nous avons vu 
payer l'argent, ce n'est pas un chai. Il n'y a pas qu'à piger nous trop. Et avec ça, nous qu'à faire avec l'argent, c'est un bon bagaille. L'autre bagaille, la mode de démis explique, c'est que nous bâillons faire un service là, si pour. Les nous bâillons ces pompiers, si pour. Nous qu'à bâillons secteur santé, si pour. Parce que si là, il y a un accident, c'est ces pompiers qui sont arrivés et pour tirer ces mounes, à ces machines, si là, on a dit fait, tout n'importe quoi, mettez-y à l'ambulance. Et j'ai que les gens qui mettent les gens ambulance, ils ont des traînements et des traînements pour lever ces gens, ils ont des traînements, des braces et tout ça, ils ont des traînements dans l'ambulance, et j'ai que les gens qui mettent les gens dans l'ambulance, c'est faire un service, avec des délais, peut-être des délais, si l'ami docteur est là, qui a des traînements, des traînements vivants, avec j'ai que les gens qui à l'hôpital. Comme ça, les gens qui quand c'est million de dollars, la première ministre a venu pour prêter, bah, il faut faire un service là. Moi, bien content, comme ministre santé, parce que moi, je dis, eh, eh, il s'en sait plus l'argent, plus l'argent, il faut santé. Même si c'est faire un service, il faut l'argent. Parce que tout ça, c'est système santé, c'est plus ici. Avec moi, je veux oui, merci, c'est Pompia, M. Speaker. Moi, je veux dire que c'est mon salaire, tant COVID-19. Tant la tête, nous, ni COVID toujours, hein, mais tant la tête, ni un chai. Covid avec mon cas à l'hôpital, mon pas ça pour l'expiration, mon malade. Là, il y a un chai moun, j'ai une famille, il y a un chai moun qui partait ça ou ça pour faire. Avec ses pompiers, tu as mis, ou quand tu as eu, tu as eu un space, là où tu as eu, 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 tu avec Meneo, Victoria Hospital, ou n'importe l'autre hôpital. Avec ces docteurs qui en Victoria, tu as dit, moi, là, ces gens font un service là. Tu as dit, autant de pression pour ça, il y a des gens qui sont fous. Ils sont allés, et ces gens qui sont tout le temps, malheureusement, ils sont arrivés, ces gens sont presque morts. Et ça a affecté tellement. Là où il vit Victoria Hospital, ces docteurs, tu as dit, moi, dans ces firemen et firemen, tu as dit, tu as juste pleuré. Parce que tu n'as pas ça. Et tu as dit, là, l'hôpital, là, tu as joué dans l'autre col. Tu n'as pas aller au castre, tu n'as pas aller à l'autre côté. Tant que Covid, ça, là, c'était un temps qui menait un chai, bagaille, bah, c'est faire un service, là. C'est mon nom qui a travaillé un faire un service, là. Et quand, le ministre, là, qui est responsable pour santé, moi, je voulais dire ces gens là, merci en chai. Là, il y a un temps que le Premier ministre, là, même j'ai dit, côté nous, quand il y a une grosse session, une grosse parole dans le COVID-19, avec ces gens qui souffrent, qui, qui font sacrifice pour assurer qui nous survivons avec le COVID-19. So, I, I wish to support the Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, and, and give my, my full support to this loan. Thank you very much.